Alright, what's good everybody? It's your boy Call Ace and we're back here with another Mooga video. And as y'all can see, man, we're here, we're finally here, man. And it, shit, it, we looking lit today, man. How are y'all doing today? How's everybody's day going? Today we're coming here with the greatest villains in anime, man. As y'all know, this is a lot of different people. This will definitely be a part one to a series. Obviously, it could be part two, part three, part four. And let me know if y'all want to see a tournament of anime type of thing. Obviously, no loser bracket, but like maybe a tournament of anime, just villains and stuff like that. Let me know down below because I wouldn't even have a problem doing that. Maybe like three people from each show doing turns or whatever. But I hope y'all enjoy, man. Let me know down below what y'all want to see next, man. A lot of things are coming. We're starting it out with Dio and Obito, man. We're going to do like three, four fights today. And then we're going to do part two, man, or part three because we have so many good villains in anime. Like some people we might not even see today, such as Sukuna. And he could be, you know, a villain in anime later on in the show. Maybe somebody like Mahito or different, all types of different villains, Akaza, that we could see in anime. And we might not even see them here today. So let me know what y'all want to see. Let me know what y'all thinking. Hope y'all enjoy. And let's get right into the first matchup. All right, we got a clean little map. I'm not going to lie. Dio and Obito have to be some of the cleanest villains of all time. Dio might not be as much as writing as Obito, but he definitely has a lot of popularity. He definitely is the face of JoJo. When it comes to like, when you think of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I feel like people more know Dio even more than Jotaro sometimes. That boy is crazy. Okay. I'm not even going to lie. Dio is starting off getting the combos off he is not playing with obito this is not looking good for obito right now he's, he's getting worked up a little bit there we go okay obito does have that permeation though that really could help him in these fights not permeation but my bad you know intangibility this is this is okay we got a little bit of charging on both sides i'm not gonna lie deal is a pure menace though that's one thing deal with that time stop and shit it's gonna hurt obito just because deal is the menace but that intangibility is gonna help him in that time stop Cause he's not even getting hit by the whole thing. I'm like, I'm seeing right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, that those counters do damage. That's one thing. I remember he beat um, he beat some strong characters using those counters. There we go, Obito. Obito's finally get some hits off. I'm about to say, Obito, we need to see you get some hits off. This uh, this little, you know how we're in Obito's combo world right now. This shit, this is very very helpful for Obito just because those things do not stop falling. And they always help him get out of combos. This is, they're, they're just tough. I'm not even gonna lie. Here we go. Okay. Obito's mass is falling off, so he's taking enough damage. Some some real damage. I'm not gonna lie. This is a good ass fight. You might see this one go to time if it comes down to it. Okay. Dio's over here healing, and he's over here countering Obito. Okay. Let me know down below. Like I said, who's y'all favorite villain, man? And who? If I miss somebody, tell me who y'all want to see me put in some of these videos. Yo, he's over here dominating Obito. Obito, this might not be... You might have to go a little higher. This might be not, not be enough. Oh, that's going to hurt. He's not going to be able to permeate out. I mean, intangible out of one hit. If I say permeate for Obito, it's just because, like, y'all know it's similar to Lavillian's power. So, I call it permeation. But I know it's actually intangibility. But, you know, similar things. So, it's kinda, it doesn't have to be... I don't have to uh, say the perfect pronouns and the perfect little pronunciation for it. Yo... I was about to say, Dio almost died there. Okay, we got we got Ten Tails mode. Oh my God, that damage! <laughs> that damage is crazy. Okay. Oh yeah, it's not looking good right now. And like I said, for most of these fights, y'all know we won't be doing. We'll only be doing one round just because there's gonna be a lot of fights and a lot of villains. So I want to be able to showcase a lot of different people to you guys. Oh, that might be it. Is that game? And Obito takes game one. Oh my God, let's get into the second matchup. Alright, we got Aizen and Gato. I know Gato might not be one of the best villains in anime right now, but like, he definitely is one of the best new gen antagonist type of people because he just, he definitely, him and Saitama damn near broke the internet. Those guys were going crazy, man. And they, he's just a huge, he's just huge right now. You know what I mean? Like, he definitely needs to be somewhere in here. Maybe him, maybe moves on. For the new gen people, I know Gato is definitely one of the bigger, one of the bigger villains in all of anime. So, let me know what you guys think down below. I know some people might say he's not a villain. For certain parts of the show, he is a villain. So, I, you know, I broadcast him as a villain. Same thing with Aizen. You know, Aizen. You know, different things. Different people have different types of standpoints on when they might be a villain, when they're not a villain and everything. And I feel like for the most part, um, you guys can see what I mean if I say uh, Garu is a villain. All right, right now, I say Aizen's taking it right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Yo, he's comboing Gardu crazy. We might not even get to see a, uh, uh, what's that? What's that one mode called that Gardu be using? Um, the Galaxy Gardu or whatever. I'll be forgetting Cosmic Gardu. There we go. Yo, he's getting hit with them black boxes back to back. Okay, there we go. Cosmic Gardu. Let me see some. Let me see some. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's starting to get crazy. 
Oh yeah, it's starting to get crazy. Oh, I thought he was finna 100 to zero Aizen. Oh, okay, let me see what's going on here. Oh, this Aizen's not even playing games. He's getting crazy off the rip. He said we're not taking a second. We're not taking a minute. We're not doing none of that. We're getting right off the rip. Let me see some Aizen. Let me see some Aizen. Okay, we got that big ass black box already coming out. Okay. That's gonna hurt. Right? Oh nah. Oh nah, he's wilding out. Oh my god. I can hear it. Oh my god. That should sound like it hurt. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Garu wasn't able to kill. I mean, Aizen wasn't able to kill Garu in that one go. But um, he's definitely doing some decent damage right now. I'm not even gonna lie. He's definitely doing some decent damage. I want to see um if he's able to completely stop him. They're having a pretty good fight right now, but Aizen is like completely almost dominating right now. Oh my god, the damage Garu does when Aizen like, gives him a second is just like... Garu almost hundreds of zeros, people. He just does so much damn damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, nah, this fight is crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. Garu's starting to get a little bit of health back, so Aizen has to finish this now if he wants to Garu not to, you know, come back. But, damn. Okay. Damn. He's over here comboing the hell out of him. Okay. Oh, no. Nah, it looks like it might be... It might be over. Okay. It, it literally might be over. Yep. And that boy Aizen takes that fight, man. Now, let's get into the final matchup. We got to get some crazy going. All right. We're here with the final matchup. And today, we had to bring out something a little bit different. This is one of the cleanest Bleach villains. I try not to use two from multiple animes, but, like, we got Okiora. Okiora is a monster, and we're putting him against Blackbeard. Blackbeard got the combos. That's one thing. Holy shit. Okay, Blackbeard. Okay, Blackbeard. Yeah, that boy Blackbeard is not playing any games with Okiora. Oh, my God. Yo, oh, my God. Yo, oh, yo, this Blackbeard got the combos. I cannot lie. Oh, yeah, Okiora might not be getting out of these combos. I'm not even going to lie. Well, that might, do, that might do some damage. Oh, that damage is crazy. He's over here one shot in Blackbeard. Okay. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. That might not be the matchup. Well, the final match, man. We got U Muzan and Okiora, man. I had to show love to... I had to show a little bit of love to my Demon Slayer fans. Y'all know Muzan is definitely not the worst anime villain of all time. He's definitely not the best, but he definitely... He definitely isn't that bad. Oh, my God. He almost one-shot Muzan. Okay. Okay, Muzan. Let me see something. We got Muzan going into his mode now because he literally almost got one shot of Okiora. That was bad. I was about to say, Okiora. Okiora definitely has to have some of the highest damage output we have on this roster. He just be doing that damage. Okay. Yo, Muzan. Is, are you serious right now? I thought Muzan was going to be too much for Okiora, but he's over here getting destroyed. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, my God. The damage. Yo, the combos. The damage. Okay. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Okiora's going to die unless he transforms. Oh, he's playing games. Yeah, he didn't want to transform. That was literally Okiora's fault. He literally could have had it if he did, if he would have transformed. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that boy Muzan got no shirt on. He's over here grunting and moaning. <laughs> Yo, Muzan, what you just finished doing? What, what you just finished doing? All right, there we go. Same thing, same start. Okay, we got the Sero into Muzan's transformation. So Muzan's transforming every time. We need to see you do that, Okiora. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, Okiora... He has the potential to be something crazy. He be defeating some crazy big names, like no difficulty sometimes. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised. Like Muzan is a really strong character in this tournament. He's over here one shot Muzan and shit. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, Muzan. Yo, Muzan's coming crazy today. Oh my god, that's gonna kill. That's gonna kill. Is that gonna kill? Is that gonna kill? Oh, and that kills. Muzan takes the W without Okiora even popping his resurrection, man. I know y'all want to see that res. I did too, man, but we can't change what happened. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know down below what y'all want to see next and who y'all want to see next, man. More fights and more videos coming very, very, very soon. Y'all already know. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow because y'all know we're not missing a day in January. ISO gang, we out of here.